Hello everyone and welcome. In yesterday's video, I did a tutorial showing you how to create this landing page. In fact, let me just show you what it looks like. So this is the landing page that I uh, created. Now these images that you see on this landing page, I took them with my iPhone. And as I mentioned in the video, I will giving, I'll be giving away this layout absolutely free. So you can just go to the link, download it, and you can just add it onto your website. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I'll be doing something a bit different. So if you take a look here, you notice that we have this video background. So this is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. Now, for this, I used my iPhone. In fact, to be honest, it was quite straightforward. I just took my phone and I was just um, recording the video while I was uh, shooting different angles on this mixer. And to be honest, I'm pretty uh, much pleased with what I found here. So this result here, what I did was when I got these images, I then went into an editing software like uh, DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere or iMovie. So that's where you can just stitch these images together. But in this case, I didn't want this to be very, very long. So I just made about three videos. But the idea here is just to show you that you can also become creative with adding video backgrounds onto your product pages. So let me show you how I was able to do this. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna enable the Visual Builder here and just work and add on top of what I created before. So over here, we notice that we have this background. Let's go ahead and delete it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So pretty much this is what we have. So to make things easier for us, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to duplicate this background, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, click on Duplicate Section, and now we have two of these. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be working on the top one. So I'm going to go here into my section settings. So what we want to do here is to come to the background. And we notice here that we have this background image, which is cool because that's what we added. Now what we need to do to, um, to add our video is to come over here to, do, to this fourth tab. Now before we do that, Ideally, what you want to do is to decide what you're going to have. So let's say on the desktop, you want to have the video playing, but on a mobile, you want to have an image. You can actually uh, make those changes right here using this little icon. So let me just show you. So this is the icon you want to click on. And as you can see now, we have amazing editing capabilities here on the desktop, tablet, and phone. So we can assign even different images if we need to on these different views. Now, by the way, before I forget, if you, if you enjoy using Divi or you'd like to use Divi for your web design projects, in fact, it is a very good decision because I've used Divi for quite a long time now. They have excellent features being added onto it. It's fantastic. Now, I have a bonus for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the Divi Blueprint course, which teaches you further how to use Divi and also how to create uh, professional looking websites using Divi. All right, so uh, all you have to do is to click the link in the video description below and uh, you'll be able to um, access that course. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, make sure that on my desktop tab, I'm going to add a video. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button to add your video. Now, as you can see, I have my video already uploaded um, as I mentioned before, I recorded this video and after recording it, I went into DaVinci Resolve. It's a free editing uh, software. You go into DaVinci Resolve and then uh, you can just uh, add those clips together and then export it as one single video. So this is what I did and this is the video that we have here. So if you want to upload it, you can just come over here to upload files, select files, and then you can just navigate to your folder where that video is and here it is. I'm gonna double click on it and uh, it's gonna be loaded one more time. All right, so now that I have this, I'm gonna, all I have to do now is to click on upload video. But before I do that, look, uh, look at the size here. This size is quite small, it's only 23 megs. So you wanna make sure you're not um, using a file that is massive because that's gonna slow down your website. Now there's one workaround when it comes to a, a file that is really big. So what you can do is once you've saved your video and it's on your desktop from your editing uh, software, all you have to do is to upload it to like, let's say YouTube 
set your video to private, and then you want to download it back to your desktop. Now, the reason why you do that is because every time you upload a video to YouTube, what YouTube does is it, they uh, compress the video uh, to a size which is reasonable to view. So that size will probably be half of what we have right now. And that's the video file that you want to use on your website. So that's one way to do it. But of course, in this case, my video file is pretty small. So I, I just went on and uploaded it. All right. So now with my video selected, I'm just going to click upload a video. And you can see here uh, playing back. And now it's playing back here. All right. So now I am just going to uh, click here to save because there's very little that you can do once you load this video on, uh, on your section. All right. So now that we have this video on there, the next stage now is to take a look at this text. So as you can see now, this text is not very easy to read because we have a moving background and also the text is white. So ideally, you want to add a dark background to this text to make it easier to read. All right, so how do we do that? So that's what I'm about to show you. So what you want to do is to, first of all, come over here to your row settings. And you want to click on this plus button to add a new column. Okay. So if I go back over here, you notice that we have two columns side by side. So this one here, we're going to leave it empty. Okay. And then we're going to save. So now you can see we have two columns. One is here and one is there. But of course, uh, we're not done yet because we need to now uh, add the background color to um, and add a bit of transparency to make it easier to read when people land on this page. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to go back into my row settings. And I want to come over here to my first column because this is the column that has all this information. So I'm going to click here. And then you want to come over here to design. And then you want to go to spacing. So what we're going to do here is to add some padding. So I'm just going to add, uh, let's say, 20 pixels. Top, bottom, left, right. Okay. So what I've, just, uh, what I've done here is to add a bit of padding around this. Now, of course, we may not see it yet because... Uh, there's no color and there's nothing really to help us see what is going on in the background. So this is where now we want to go in and add our background. All right. So over here, I'm just going to go back to my content, click on background, and let's add our background color. So my color here is going to be black. So I'm going to make sure I drag this all the way down to the bottom corner here. And now you can see that this is the black selected and it looks really good. Now, uh, just looking at this, it looks like the black is just a bit too much. So you can actually add a bit of transparency here by just clicking back over here and dragging this slider here on the right. And you can see as I'm dragging this, I'm getting a bit of transparency there. You see that? And that is really, really cool. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. So now I can save this and save one more time. Okay, so now we have a bit of a problem here with our design. So as you can see here, uh, this text is has a width, which I adjusted in the uh, previous design. So let's go in and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings, design, sizing. So you can see here my width is set to 50%. Let's bring it back over here to 100%. Okay, so now it's taking um, the majority of this space, which looks much better than what we had before. All right, so now that we have this all set, I'm going to save this. And pretty much this is how our design looks like. So as you can see, it's much easier to read uh, on, on, this, um, on this video background. And the video background as well continues to play, which is great. So pretty much this is how you can play around with different um, designs for your hero images. Now, I just want to show you something very uh, quickly here. So if I go back here to my, to my uh, section settings, background. Now here on the tablet, I can actually go in here and delete the video. Okay. 
So basically what I'm doing here is to say, okay, you know what? For the tablet, I do not want a video background to be uh, on, this, on this background because uh, maybe because of speed, because video takes a lot of uh, bandwidth. So maybe on desktops, it's fine because most people in the desktops have very good internet connections. But when you're out and about, it may be a different case. So this is where you can set a specific uh, design or graphic to your mobile device. All right, so let's switch back over here. So I've deleted the video here for the um, tablet. And what we can also do is we can also go and remove this background here from the tablet because there's no point of having this uh, dark background here. So let's go to the phone as well. So you can see here on the phone, the video is deleted. But of course, you can try it out. In fact, you know what? <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, when I tried this, the video was actually showing on mobile devices. So I'm not sure if this was a silent release from uh, Divi to show the videos now on mobile devices uh, in the few uh, in the previous updates. I haven't seen anything about it, but it's something that I'll definitely confirm and see if the videos are now playing on the mobile devices. And uh, if you've tried it out and it plays, please let us know in the video description below. All right, so over here now on the phone, it's good. Uh, if I click here, you can see we have an image. That's why this image is showing. Okay, so now let's fix this issue here because this background does not look great and also this text does not look great here. So I'm gonna save here because in fact, let's go back to the desktop and just make sure our video is there and here it is, it's playing. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And now I'm gonna come back over here to my row settings and then go into my column. Click on design. In fact, we need to go to background, don't we? All right. So over here, if you want to remove the background on the other devices, all you have to do is to click here on this little icon, go on the tablet, and then you want to delete this background on the tablet and then go to the phone as well, and that's deleted, okay? But if you go on the desktop, of course, it's still there. So that is how you resolve this. So now I can save this, save this one more time. And now if I go into these different views, you can see here, we don't have that background that we had. And if I go now to the phone, there's an image and this is looking cool. But you know what? There's one really annoying thing here. Uh, you can see here on this uh, description text here, um, it's gone, the G has gone onto the second line. Let's fix that because uh, to be honest, it doesn't look great. All right, so let's come over here to our design tab. And this is the heading text. So make sure if this is the heading. So what you want to do is to go specifically to the heading text size. And while here you're on the phone tab, you want to make sure you just drag it until uh, it's all showing there. You can also center it to make things look much better. And then on the tablet, you want to do the same thing. Uh, perhaps here we can actually increase the size a little bit to about 56, make sure it's centered. And then on the desktop, it is fine where it is. Now, a few tweaks that we may, we may also want to do. Let me just save this. And let's go to our desktop view. What you may also want to do is to make sure that this text here is centered on mobile devices. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings design, text, so here, all I have to do is to come over here to this little icon, click on the tablet tab, and then on the text alignment here, you wanna make sure on the tablet it's centered, and then on the phone it's centered as well, which is great, and then finally, we need to center the button, so let's save our design here, go to the button, then click on design alignment and then click here on this little icon, click on tablet, and then just make sure that this is centered on the tablet and also centered on the phone. Excellent. So pretty much this is how you design and add background images. So right now I've just saved this um, design and then I just need to click on exit visual builder and pretty much this is our hero video.
So as you can see, this was very straightforward to do. Make sure that you're using a small video size. You don't want to use a massive size because that will lag and make your website slow. So pretty much this is how you do it. So you can actually make your product landing pages even more awesome by adding video backgrounds. Now, before I conclude this video, I just want to remind you that if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my DV Blueprint 3 course. The link to that is in the video description below. Just drop me an email and let me know uh, once you've bought it and I'll give you access to my course. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.